What they now call the Bible is actually a counterintelligence operation to rewrite the old Gnostic texts and hide the original message. A counterintelligence operation? Well, you better have some pretty good sources because I can't find one New Testament historian that says this. Let's start by looking at what they actually did from the book Linguistic Archaeology and Introduction by Adon Nyland. I said you have to have good sources. Good ones. So I tried looking this guy up and I cannot find any credentials for him for any of the fields he's writing in. That doesn't mean he's wrong, but it is a red flag. The book was also self-published through Trafford Publishing and I can find no evidence it was properly peer-reviewed. Doesn't mean he's wrong, but again, it's another red flag. The task assigned to Benedict was to train monks to go into Western Europe and create a Roman Catholic presence in areas where many Gnostic Christian missionaries from Ireland had long been active. This is absolute nonsense. There is no evidence early Gnostics had a presence in Ireland. Nor is there any evidence this task was assigned to St. Benedict. He was born about 19 years after St. Patrick had died, the famous missionary to Ireland. And so by this time, most of Ireland was already Christian. But the errors don't stop there. After the Benedictine monks had established themselves in secure monasteries, they were to do everything within their power to destroy not only the deep-rooted belief in the very ancient Asherah religion and its supreme goddess... Okay, this is also wrong. The Gnostics did not worship Asherah. She was a goddess from the pre-exilic period that was sometimes made into the wife of El Yahweh, which the biblical authors explicitly reject and say is an act of rebellion. The Gnostics had a goddess called Sophia, who was believed to be the creator of the Demiurge, who the Gnostics equated with the god of the Old Testament. We move on to the book The Apocalypse Unsealed, an esoteric interpretation of the initiation of St. John by James Morgan Price. Okay, this book is pretty old and I can find no credentials for this guy either. The purpose of this book is to show that the Apocalypse is a manual of spiritual development and not, as conventionally interpreted, a cryptic history or prophecy. And that is absolutely true. You need some evidence that it's absolutely true. Citing an author from 100 years ago who has no credentials is not evidence. So the church didn't just mistranslate some Greek. They actively picked and choose what fit their narrative. They rewrote languages and history to validate their new narrative. Oh, the irony. You're claiming the church rewrote history while pushing historical myths that have no basis in reality and things that are just factually incorrect. If you're going to make a bold claim that the church rewrote history, you better have some good evidence to back that up. Citing books that have been self-published and do not have proper citations is not good evidence. 